it's Jesus Hits. I know it's been a while since my last beat video, so this one is long overdue. I've been a little bit busy working on a few projects, uh, working on Giddy Doe's mixtape, which is going to be fire. That should be coming out soon. I'm also working on my own mixtape. should be dropping sometime in the spring. And a couple other projects I'll mention a little bit later as they progress. I've uh, been making a few changes, uh, changed some of the equipment I used. Uh, also added a little bit of the studio foam, you know, to kill some of the highs so I get a better quality mix. Another big thing that I worked on is uh, upgrading my website. No longer is it Jesus Hits Productions. I felt the URL was a little too long. So I went ahead and shortened that and revamped the whole site and made it over. So now it's www.hazelshits.com. There'll also be a link at the end of this video so you can check out the new website. So let's get into something new. I wanted to make a new beat, make it from scratch. Uh, we're going to do it with my MIDI keyboard and my 76 key keyboard and the MPC. We're going to go through the parts. It will be rather quick because I already did make the beat, but I'll go through the parts that I made, the parts that I played, and we'll check it out and see how it works out. Once again, I thank you for watching, and let's get it started. So we're basically going to go through the parts I played, and I'll go through each sequence and what I played in that sequence, and then we'll put it all together at the end and listen to the beat. So let's get started. So what we're going to go ahead and do now, we're going to go ahead and lay down the bass. You may not hear it that well because camcorders microphones are not made to pick up very low frequencies. But let's go ahead and lay it down anyway. So that's the bass part that we went ahead and laid down. Uh, let me go ahead and play it back for you. Let's see if you can hear it a little bit better because it's a little more amplified. So let's go on to the next part. So now, uh, basically for the verse overlay, I'm going to go ahead and lay down some keys. So this part went like this. And we'll go ahead and listen to that back. pretty basic on that part. That was pretty much an overlay on what I did on the actual verse parts of the song. So we're going to go into more parts of the verse and then we're going to go into parts of the chorus. So let's get it. So basically in the verse I also went through a little synth to play over the top and that went like... So that also overlaid as part of the verse. Then, uh, basically a second part of the verse, we're going to go ahead and lay down another piano overlay on top of the other one. So that piano overlay basically went like this. So that's how that piano overlay went. And then what we basically did, we started going into parts of the hook after that. Then we went ahead and started laying into parts of the hook. So I put a saw lead on the hook and it went something like... Something kind of simple, something kind of plain, but it definitely blends in with the hook well. So also on the hook I laid down a, a pad sequence which pretty much mirrored uh, the basic rhythm of the track. So it went something like this. So that also got laid down on the hook. And then I added an effect. And we're going to go ahead and play that also. So basically I laid a sound effect on the hook. 
and it went something like this. It's going to sound a lot like noise, but it just blends in well. So all that little distortion and breakup is going to work well on the hook to basically give it some, I'll say some personality, some character. So now what we're basically going to do is we're going to go into the drums, and the drums are laid down for it. So let's go ahead and go on to that on the MPC. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and start laying down some of the drum parts. So let's start with the snare. So that basically was the snare part that we laid down. And let's go to the drums and then the hi-hats and the close hat. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lay down the kick. So now that we've gone ahead and laid down the kick, let's go ahead and lay down the hi-hat. Let's go ahead and lay down the clothes hat. So that's pretty much roughly what the drums did. I mean, we still got to do a lot of mixing to them in Pro Tools once I get it out of the MPC. So let's move on to the last part, taking a listen to a rough draft of what the beat sounds like and how I sweet sequenced it up. So I went ahead and went through the parts that I played for the actual beat itself. Basically I sequenced it up in the MPC so we get a rough listen to what the beat will sound like. Of course I still got to finish mixing it in Pro Tools, so I'm going to bounce it out of the MPC and into Pro Tools. So let's take a listen and see what we like. Uh, we'll go through the intro, the uh, first verse in the hook. So here we go. That's that effect I told you about. It's a little gritty, but it definitely works for the hook and intro. slow and fast tone to it, so if you're rapping you can spit either one to it, whether it's a fast flow or a slow flow. So then it goes back into the verse, second verse, so basically that was a rough listen, a little beat I put together last night. So thank you for watching once again, please subscribe, please comment. Once again, at the end of this video, and also below, there will be a link to my new website, www.hazelshits.com. Check it out, let me know what you think. Peace.